So in this video I'm going to explain why people crunch the noses of their car on driveways and how to avoid doing so. So how do you avoid doing that to your car? Now we begin by understanding something called the approach angle. Now we've got a car and the steepest angle the nose can rise up is the approach angle. In the case of four wheel drive, that's really important. You can see that angle is about 40 degrees here, whereas a car like the Toyota 86 may be only about 10 or 15 degrees. But it becomes a problem when we want to get up a steep driveway. Now you can see here, I've got the car, it's able to get up the driveway. This one can't, it's going to impact. And the reason is that the base of the wheel has got to the start of the slope before the nose of the car touches the slope. Whereas in this case, the nose of the car has touched the slope first and the wheel is still some distance away from the start of the slope. So how can we fix that? Okay, well let's take um, our car again with the nose touching the slope. We're gonna put a yellow line there. We're going to just take note of the distance between the wheel and the nose. Now if we change that to a top-down view, we're gonna put that same blue arrow so line through the tires and look at that distance. Now, how can we get this distance shorter? Well, the answer is we angle the car off. We've got that same blue arrow again, but because we're angled off, look at the distance between the center of the wheel and that point where we're going to impact. That is a shorter distance and that is why angling off is the way to go for going across steep driveways. And now let's take a look at how effective that technique actually is. Now there's several different ways to angle off and let's start off with, well not angling off at all. We're just gonna drive straight over the ditch which is here and there's no angling off and therefore we are going to crunch the nose if that's what um, our approach is. What we, what we can do is as we approach that um, ditch here is go off to the right or to the left, whichever way you're going and you can see that we're gonna get an angle here, we're not gonna crunch. We can also just turn go dead straight and then just turn a little bit later than normal and that will give us an angle but if you do that then just be careful that you're not going to damage the car on the inside of the corner there. You can also go all the way out to one side and come in that gives you a really good angle that's what you might need to do for some steep ditches but of course if there's traffic coming the other way then that might cause you a problem. Now the thing that you don't want to do is this, which is you don't want to make your turn out and then come back in and end up actually pointing exactly as you were back in the first instance. So you've got a time when you swing out for a curve, otherwise you're not going to have any effect whatsoever.
I hope you found that video useful. If you've got any questions, please drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you won't crunch your nose of your car anymore.